Hello, hello, children. This is Teacher Joe from Blue Tree Education. Today, we are going to talk about a question in ACS Prelim Paper 2022, which is on photosynthesis energy in food. Now, this topic is a content-heavy topic, and you will need to know uh, how plants take in ox uh, carbon dioxide and water for the process of photosynthesis. So let's take a look at this question. So Emmanuel conducted an experiment using four identical containers. And you can see that the four containers here, they have all access to light, except for container D. And after three hours, a drop of blue liquid Z was added into each container. The color of the liquid in the container changes shade according to the amount of oxygen present in the liquid. So let's first highlight the key question term, right? A drop of liquid, a uh, blue liquid Z was added into each uh, container. And they say that the color will change shade according to the amount of oxygen present. Got that part? All right, now we're ready to look at a question. So with the information, they actually have a diagram here accompanied to show you that as the amount of oxygen increases, right, the, um, the color actually gets darker blue. And each number represents a different shade of blue. And the number for the shade uh, of liquid in container A is 4. So as you can see, four children is like in the middle, all right? Um, uh, it looks like um, uh, a little bit of oxygen in the water, not too much, not too little. Okay, so it is a comparison for you, all right? Okay, let's look at the question. Suggest a number for the shade of the liquid in containers B and D. Now, this question here is an experiment type question, and there are actually a lot of information. So be very sure to highlight the question term, to read the information carefully before you head down to the question. So never, never rush into answering, all right? So here, container B and D. So what do you think the answer is? Now, so before I reveal the answer, do remember, all right, to click, all right, look in under the comments box for the question first. Okay, I have actually attached uh, the worksheet down for you so that you can attempt it first. So pause the video, all right? Do the question first before uh, you uh, go on with the rest of the videos. Ready? Pause. Great. Okay, come on. So let's come back here. So here, I can see that plant in B, right, can actually absorb the light fully and photosynthesize. So therefore, producing the most oxygen, right? Whereas the plant in D cannot absorb light, children, because uh, the light is actually blocked by the black box. Okay, so although, uh, so here, all right, uh, like teacher Joe just now mentioned, all right, although all of them are exposed to light, but because container D, there's this black box there, so the black box will block the light. And we all know that light is needed for photosynthesis. So I'm ready for my answer. So I think that container B will have um, uh, a lot of oxygen, right? So I put there six, which is dark blue. Whereas for container D, all right, there will be no, uh, not much oxygen left because the plant is unable to photosynthesize. So in the end, the plant needs to take in oxygen for its own respiration, right? That's why the answer is one. Next part of the question, Emmanuel predicted that container C has more carbon dioxide than container A. Explain why container C will have more carbon dioxide than container A, right? So here, same thing, let's highlight the key question term. Container C has more carbon dioxide than container A. So remember, this is linked to the topic of photosynthesis, right? So this is definitely about um, taking in carbon dioxide for the process of photosynthesis. So go back to the diagram again, or right, use it to guide you in answering. And I can see that plant in C actually has a small snail. There'll be more carbon dioxide released due to respiration. Uh, but, okay, so what's the but there? But children, can you see that there is actually a plant, right? But in container A, right, there is actually no plant at all, right? So this plant here becomes a critical difference between the two containers, right? Okay, so here, are you ready for your answer? So remember that plants actually taking carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So why container C may not have more carbon dioxide? Here, because there is a plant in container C, but not in A. So actually, the plant in C will be able to take in more carbon dioxide in the presence of light, right? It's exposed to light for photosynthesis, but there's no plant in container A to take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. 
Now this question here, because there was a experiment result, all right, uh, in part A. So you have to connect the experiment result to your answer. You cannot answer this question based on your knowledge, okay? So when it comes to experiment type question, right, okay, the important part is you need to link them up together. I hope that this short video has helped you to understand more about photosynthesis and how to make use of experiment results to answer a question like this, an application question. And uh, do click, right, uh, subscribe to Blue Tree Education, uh, either up or down for you, okay, to get the first notification. We will be doing more of such videos to help you uh, to do better in PSLE science. So I shall see you very soon. Bye-bye.